What temperature is this held at? Is this a temp temperature controlled or this is it? No, no this just is just purely when the pressure will be relaxed and then we take it out of the stores. They will be stored at about 10, 9, 10 degrees C in the store. Oh well. Right. All dusty and everything it is. Yeah. The cheese might eat all the rind, eat all the lard off. And then they just eat through the rind and they damage the cheese. That dust is just what's left. With all the cheese, so what do you do with that then? Uh, down the main cheese store later on you'll see that's where they they just put them in a booth and blow the cheese up trying to try control the numbers and light on them. We can't actually kill them. We used a few big eight for that can't eat bag. Oh yeah. Oh, right, well okay. you don't all that comes off with your cloth. It's not it's not in the yeah, cheese. Yeah. There is actually a cheese that people that they actually put the white on and they actually eat that. Yeah, but, it's not but, but no, really it, it's just something that can damage your stock. We used to fumigate and that got banned. So the only way we've found around that is to take all the cheese out of the yeah. store, blow them off with, a, with it, uh, air, compressed yeah. air, right that and got an extract. You're just controlling numbers, you're keeping the white numbers down. cheese maker. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's a decent beer we show on it as well. <laughs> See, that's what you get, they get the liquid. Oh. Just, they, they, they stay wet and horrible. They've been in there for that's years, right. haven't they? So what we do, um, at three months old, we iron the cheeses. We use this cheese iron. And we'll test them. And that is for, to so give them out more information about whether it is it's making it right. Has it got the right in the air? Has it made it not right? Has it got the acidity? Right amount of moisture, you know, right amount of fat, balance of fat protein, like all of those balance things. Yeah. And we don't particularly look at flavour, we can't trust them. We've got all of those production things right and flavours will come correct. Yeah. And, and then, but then what we do at this stage is that uh, this is now, well, this is now 15 months or 16 months old. Uh, we do it at 12 months old. Uh, um, I'll show you the same age. So yeah. To be the kind of different flavours that we've got. The different start, did you see, uh, did you see the starters? Yeah. Stuff with the germs. Yeah. Because yeah. we've got five of those different starters, six of those different starters. Yeah. And they've each got a slightly different flavour. And also something, because these starters, these Strains, and as I said, we're certainly lost. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, so it's, it's really each of them developed this whole sort of complexity of flavour. That's what's going to go through. So, you're going to that this morning, weren't you? We'll have our break this week, then, that's that. Sorry? Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Oh yes, breakfast. Not that, not your second breakfast. No, no. <laughs> Very good. Nice. Your, your first breakfast. Great. Lovely. Yes. So, so what are we doing? Which order should we do it? Uh, I guess.
how well it fills the iron. Like, is it is the bit of cheese fatter than the than the iron it sits in? Because that means it's got good strong protein. Yeah. Because it's like slightly springy. Then you've got is there is the fat right? Is it or and is the acidity right? Is the fat coating the back of the iron nicely? With this cheese, is it like has it what's it what's it kind of look like? And that's got nice the perfect plug is one that's like got sort of candle like looks like a candle it's yeah. almost like it glows and what you can see here is also that you because it's rinded yeah. you've got you've got deeper color towards the edge where it's where it dries out a bit slightly less deep uh, where, where there's more moisture slightly more acidity, sort of sharpness develops yeah. 